Hi, welcome back to Animation Teacher. Today we'll be doing a what I like to call bare feet turnaround. What that basically means is we're going to go from a profile view to a three quarter front, or actually we'll go from profile to front view, let's say. And we'll be doing proper sidestep, or I guess one foot at a time. So we'll be starting here and we'll be ending here. So basically, um, the animation is going to entail uh, this right foot going up, sidestepping over here, landing, and the uh, screen left foot is going to raise and follow through. So I'm just going to get rid of this color card. It's a little distracting sometimes. Okay. So, once again, I'm going to start my animation, let's say frame 10 here. And I'll have my start frame, my end frame, let's say here, and my midway. So basically it's just a reverse turn here. Okay, so to get things started, why don't we start with a sketch? Okay, and we're going to start with the basic outline of our character. Okay, and we'll go to our and position here. She I wanna tone down this brush a little bit here. So this is our end position. Okay. So why don't we just give him some kind of a little bit of a lean here. And we'll do a contrapostal. Oops. And just do a relaxed hand here. Okay. Uh, we'll do a slight look up. All right. So we have our sketch here. Okay, so why don't we go? Actually, let's get rid of this all together. Let's give them a better pose to start. I'll lean them down. And we can have him kind of scratching his head here. Okay, and let's hide that. I'll give him some feet. Let's 
as we his feet are important here. Okay. All right, so we're going from this pose to this pose. I'll probably have to readjust his feet a little bit here. And we can keep his foot planted here. So we'll have to make sure that foot plants. This foot will lift. And plant here. And now let's do the breakdown. I'll turn on my onion skin. Actually, we don't have to. Alright, so my breakdown is basically going to be a three quarter front. And I'm going to do a dip turn. Okay, so basically here I'll use my three quarter front head. I'm going to bend his body down a little bit, and the, obviously the breakdown will be um, I guess he can bring his arm down and he's going to bend his neck a little bit, which is going to cause his torso to come down a little bit and right now I'm basically just hitting comma and the period button to toggle back and forth here. So it's important to keep his foot exactly where it is at the start here and what we can do is we can lift his screen right foot up okay so we're going to lift his screen right foot up. We're going to bring this hand down. And we're going to um, bring this hand up. But we'll delay it a little bit so the action isn't happening all at once. <laughs> now you'll notice that I'm lifting his legs a little bit high. It's just a little exaggerated. But the idea is basically to pivot the one foot up and turn them around. Okay. Hmm. You know what? Let's make this a little bit more challenging here. I'm actually gonna shift him over a little bit here because I want to do a two-step, a two-foot step thing because that's what I mentioned at the top of this. I want to make sure we all know how to turn our character bare f doing a bare foot one over the next here. Oops. Okay, so now I'm actually going to get rid of that. Actually, before I do that, let's duplicate this because this can be our end pose. Okay. And we'll go back to sketch two and I'm going to just change this one so we have the legs dragging and the arms dragging following through as well the sketch will be there ok 
Okay. So this is going to be a kind of a, a bit of a breakdown here. center line is probably going to be there. So this is where we're going to add a delay or an offset. And it's going to start to come up here. As well, this foot is going to lift up a little bit. And see a little bit of a Sides so uh, step and a settle. Now, in order to sell that a little bit more, I'm going to have to bend his knees a little, uh, just a touch. There we go. <laughs> okay, so there are our sketches. So, <clears throat> this will be our resting starting position. He's going to antic, go into his step, his screen right foot is going to step first, and his screen left foot will drag. Alright, let's get it started. I'll put my sketch behind. Oops, sorry. Let's put it in front. Okay, so what we can do here... A uh, few people have asked me uh, how I can uh, give it a little bit of a transparency so uh, we can see the sketch a little bit more. Literally, you just do that and 30%. And it just knocks it back a little bit. We can even do 15%. That'll probably do it. Okay, and what we're going to do next, actually, if you want to double that up. Oops, sorry, no, that doesn't work. Never mind. Okay, so next, what we're going to do is we're going to pose them out. I'm going to lock the sketch layer. And using my transform tool, I'm going to block them out. First thing I want to do is I want to get this foot position right. So I'm going to move the entire rig first. And I use that foot. And this one actually can stay. I'm going to lean the torso. Okay, and the upper torso, I can kind of lean back just a touch. We'll put his head down. Let's get that multi plane or head plane going. I'm going to rotate his hair just a touch. Can be looking down. And his arms. Let's see if I got the right instance. I guess we can use this one. Okay, we'll alter this so the perspective is a little bit more forced. I might have done something better here. Yeah. That arm works nice. 
So I'm going to steal this arm here. I got an underlay layer as well. So I'll use this apply to line color art. Make sure my preview all art layers is on. Copy. Basically this allows you to duplicate all the layers at once. So here's my duplicate. I'm going to paste and we'll flip it. Okay. So I'm just hitting brackets here to go back and forth just so I can match up my pivot point. Okay. So here's my new instance. I'm going to flip that over. And with uh, my coordinates turned on, I'm going to put that in front. I want to put this in front of the hand. I want to flip that by hitting oops, um, 4. Just going to adjust this a little bit here. What do we have? I guess we can use this for now. And let me see. Whoops. Oh. S whoopsie. Okay, well, that's fine. We gotta use it here, too. Um, I gotta bring this to the front. And why is this not showing? Interesting. There. Okay, so it looks like it's not showing because it's on the wrong layer for some reason. There it is. Okay, so I'm gonna have him kind of. I'm gonna have him kind of scratching his head here. Oh, looks like I have that instance already. Okay. Just flip this. Uh, add a little bit of a skew. Okay. And let's locate the other hand or the other arm. I'm going to shoot that back. Let's, I'm going to hide my sketch for a sec. Let's get this nice and posed. Okay, so just relaxing the arm. This should probably be that instance. Okay. Alright. This hand doesn't quite work. Let me just change the angle of this. So I'm um, duplicating this, Alt-Shift-D, and I'm just going to alter the direction of this hand so it makes more sense with our perspective. No?
Okay. All right. It's a little bit better. Okay. So this is pretty good for a start here. We get a nice line of action. Planted feet. Let's adjust the shadows. There we go. Okay, so our first pose. Second pose. Let's turn on our sketch again. This one I kind of half started already. So this one here, uh, we're going to start lifting our uh, leg. So we're just going to bend this and we'll rotate our foot there. I made enough feet instances. Uh, we have to keep our legs planted here, but we can rotate it at least. And this is when our torso comes down a little bit. So I have to bend the knees. Actually, that'll be fine there. Be lowering this torso piece here, or this pelvis piece. We're going to bring down that whole shirt area. So, for this, for this key, I actually want to change the bottom of the shirt. So I'm going to hit Alt Shift D again, and I'll go into my drawing here. Okay, I'm on my line art layer, and I'll just bring this down because I kind of want. Kind of want a nice round shape here. It's like I want it to feel like it's got a little pudge coming up on his belly. It's gonna help sell this a little bit more. And this arm, we don't actually have to show that angle yet. We can keep it similar to the other arm. And his head, we're going to actually face plane this a little bit. First, I'll bring down his neck just a touch. At least we don't have to. I don't have that masked long enough, so let's bring down his neck a little bit. I'm going to hide my sketch, uh, D to deactivate the view, and we'll adjust all this here. I actually have this cutter on my butt fix here. Don't know why it's not moving alongside with this. Okay, there it is. Okay, I just hit R to uh, reset my butt fix underlay there. Okay, so let's just adjust the crotch a little bit here. Okay, so this is more of a breakdown. Um, I wish I had another hand here. I could probably use this one.
Okay. And I'll adjust the shadow. Hmm. Kind of limited here on my hands. Okay, I don't want to eat up too much time drawing hands, so let's just use that hand as a breakdown. Okay, let's see my sketch. Um, and this is my step. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and pose the settle position here. Line them up there. And I'm going to use his three quarter front head. Now, what's cool about um, Harmony is you can actually steal head positions. Um, once you have everything collapsed, just make sure you steal the proper group by hitting B all the way. You got too much here, take back the next. B. So now we know we have the head. I'm going to hit Control C here. Then I'll go back to this head. And while it's already selected, I'm going to hit Control V. Oops, sorry. Control V. I actually have to copy it here. Sorry, I forgot about that part. So I'm going to go here. to show you what that looks like here. So in the head comp, which is this, I'm going to hit Control C, and here I'll hit Control V, and that'll give me my head again. I'll go down here and flip him by hitting 4, and we have our 3 quarter front head. Okay. Alright. Let's pose him out here. Let's give him a little bit more. Of a contrapostal position. Oops. You know what? I faced him in the wrong way. That's fine. I, I'll just flip this drawing here. Actually, no. Forget it. Let me redo that. Alright. Okay, so here's my arms on his hips, on his fist on his hips. And drop down this arm. And I'm just going to reset all these because I did the wrong contrapostal. Okay, and I'll just turn off my sketch because I kind of know what I want now. What I want is this to be contrapostal this way. And for the face plane, we're going to really sell the pose with this 
head tilt here. So once again, when you're doing this, you have to make sure that you're trying to follow the line uh, of the face plane, the face line, in order to keep everything on model. Okay. Now, sometimes when you have characters like this, they don't, their profiles and the three quarter front don't lend themselves uh, to do the face plane perfectly. Let me just show you what this looks like. Okay, so that's that and that. I'm just going to toggle it so you can see the difference it's always a it's always good practice to place in the main design so you can see how your face plane is working okay so just adjusting this a little bit there we go. Alright, so there's our face plane. And our contrapostal position. Um, I'm going to change this again here. So Alt Shift D. Just want to bring up the shoulders a little bit here. Okay, so that's going to give us a little bit more room to play with when he, as he puts his arms on his hips here. Um, I'll bring him to the front. Actually, no, let's bring him right to the back. 0001B. And then I'll adjust his hips and his legs and his pelvis and his crotch line. There. Oops. Okay, there we go. Um, this is our settle, and I'm gonna copy this and go back a frame. Oops. Let's see here. Yep, I'm gonna use this for a breakdown, so I'll keep that. And I am going to copy and paste these over. And I'm going to use this as my um, settling pose here. that leg now the screen right foot has already been planted at this point so I'm gonna keep it exactly where it is there and the screen left is dragging
the left arm is also dragging and this will be back to instance one this is instance six so this is still dragging from when on its low position and Franco's head can be a little lower and we can also play with the face planning here okay let me turn off the sketch And I am going to actually have this in front so we see a little bit of this arm coming down. And I'm going to actually try to foreshorten it just a touch. And I'm going to hit 4 to flip this hand. And we'll use this hand. I might have to bring this in front. Actually, yeah, we'll use this hand. I'll flip that back. Okay. All right. So this is actually going to be our breakdown in here. So right now we got Oh, what do we have here? Interesting. Okay, so our resting position. Okay, I just reset that. I'll have to reset this too. All right, so we have our resting position antic. This will be a breakdown, getting into this overshoot and settle. All right, so let's in between all of this here. Let's turn on my onion skin. I'll pull this blue nodes here. And we'll start our in between. So, the first thing we have to do is make sure this foot here doesn't move. So, we'll have to use the same instance. And we'll have to match it up exactly. All right, next, I want to actually offset this head. Here, so I'm actually going to add a little bit of a drag. So we go from here, and I'll offset the drag here. So then we get a nice turnaround. So on this pose here, we're going to need this leg in midair. And it's just about to contact OK, 
can actually have a contact. Um, this looks like we'll have to move it back. It's too much of a forward step. And basically, right now, I'm getting I'm getting the in between breakdowns working here. So what I'm looking at when I'm going, f um, when I'm flipping back and forth here, is I'm looking for arcs on basically every piece of the build here to make sure that what we see flows nicely with with our eyes. Because if it doesn't, it's going to feel like it pops, and that's the last thing we want. Okay. So I'm just going to rotate this crotch a little bit here. So for this front head, I'm probably going to just close his eyes. And for this, we'll probably just lower the pupils. So I'm going to close his eyes here. And he can slowly start to open it here. Whoops. Let's keep it open there. Okay. And this arm here, we can delay. Basically, we can find this arm and copy it. So this one, hold, shift, or hold and control, let go. So we're copying that exact same arm. And we're just delaying it ever so slightly. We can even shoot it back. Oops. Just resetting this here. Okay. So I think this is actually a pretty good lead in. So I'm going to change this again to this, and I'll reset this Z depth. Uh, 
Um, maybe I'll use this and oh, we'll flip it. And why don't we convert this to a palm? So Alt Shift D, and I'm actually just gonna use the skin outline here. Make a palm line. So now we're looking at the inside of the hand. I use this rotation tool. Oops. Bring it in. There we go. So now we got the inside palm. All right. And I'm just going to bring his head down a little bit more. And we'll probably have to face plane this, which is fine. So grab his face comp, move it down. Grab his eyes, move it down. Grab his chin, move it in. And his hair, let's rotate it like that. And we'll have to cheat his ears. This hair tough we can bring right to the front. And his face. We'll just rotate a little bit. Okay, and actually I'm going to bring this facial features down as well. And I'll bring his chin up. I'll bring his entire head down. All right, so here is our posing. That's our posing pass. I'll just adjust the shadows here and we can start animating. Just leave that pose. Okay, file save. All right.
Alright, file, save. Okay, next up, we're going to be doing the animation itself. So, first thing, so I'm going to hold this first pose as usual. And I'll get rid of any keys or discrepancies. Oops. Okay, first, we're going to hit F6 on each one of these. Next, I'm going to make sure our hold works. You can also hit Shift Plus to bring it to the next key. And let's just make sure the tweens are gone out of there. Okay. Our overshoot and our settle. So let's do our overshoot and settle first. Once again, we're going to copy the exact same pose. We're just going to shoot everything, just nudge up. line included Just gonna bring it up move that in a little bit Tilt his head up. All right, so there's our settle, very subtle. And I am going to, oops, I'll give it a tween here. Control K, and I'll set my ease. I'm going to slow it out. Okay, there we go. And I'll probably need a break down in here. So I'm going to take this pose, hold control, go hold control and shift back. And I'm going to turn on my onion skin here. Basically, for this, I'm just going to find a happy in-between that favors my final resting position. So this is actually where my foot finally plants. So I can favor that. And this foot kind of comes up a little bit. that leads into the final position just find an in-between for that and move this down and 
I believe this is incense one. Okay. So that gives us that shoulder pop. Now for this, I'll basically just reset uh, all the features here. Whoops, sorry. All the main features here. Turn up now. Okay, so there's my settle. There's my settle. Alright, so let's go into our antic here from there to there. So this is more of a lead in antic. The antic actually happens on the on this point here in the mid stride. So to do the lead in, actually, looks like I gotta fix that foot. Let me fix this foot first. Uh, let's kill that key, F7, F6 to replace that key. Hmm. Let's do that again, F7, F6, F7, F6. I'm just going to hit F6 a bunch of times and remove any tweens that might be happening here. Alright. Alright. It'll work. Okay, so now that the foot is more or less fixed, I'm going to start to ease into this position. By starting to bend. The foot or the leg and move my torso to lead in. I have to bend it down, change this. pelvis and of course lead the leg out so what's gonna sell this lead out uh, well is obviously the um, the leg. So I'm going to actually try to get that going nicely here. Alright, so now the lead out for the leg is fairly working. And then the next thing what we'll do is actually, uh, let me just stretch this crotch line a little bit. We'll let that start off slow, ease quickly into this, and then go ahead with the in-between here. Okay, so there is the up, 
Lead in. No, next is the arms. Arms are a little bit tricky. So we don't want it to slide so much. And for the head, we can actually use the neck to follow the torso, but we also want a little bit of an offset delay here with the rest of the head. With the rest of the body and the head there. Alright, so I think we got all, everything here. I'm going to start tweening, or I'm going to key at frame 24, and I'll start my ease. So the ease. I'm going to start easing from frame 24 into frame 29. So I'll start off my ease fairly strong. That's going to go quickly into that position and then finish up the animation. Okay, so I'm going to hit stop on frame 46 and let's play that. All right. So, I try to put this on twos, but I think this position should be on one. So, I'm just going to uh, click that key and hit minus. And then the rest is fine. And I think what I'm going to do actually is going to slow down this settle here. So, I'm going to hit shift plus and get rid of my tween looks like this position and this position are the same so I'm going to get rid of this minus there And I can actually tween this. Control K. There we go. And looks like my shadow pops there. That's an easy fix. Okay. Uh, get rid of the tween there. And let's see this. Uh, shadow pop still. Small potatoes. Let's just get rid of that shadow animation here. I think we're fine settling it down there. Yeah. All right. So let's have a look at this. On loop. There you go. Sidestep. Full body turn. With a little bit of offset. Now, this looks pretty good, so I'm going to save this. And I'm going to save a new version. And I'll call this on twos. And let's just quickly convert this to twos. I'm just going to hit F6 and go backwards. Okay. I'm going to kill that keyframe. Control L and I'll remove every other keyframe. Uh, we can extend that. 
Okay, so I'll remove that keyframe. So these I like to keep on ones because it's such a quick action and it won't, won't quite work otherwise. But for these, I can definitely create tweens here. So it looks like I have to be one more frame longer. So I'm just going to drag that over. And then I'm going to hit F6, 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 F6. I'm going to kill my tween and then remove every other key. There we go. So let's have a look at this on twos. It's a lot smoother and slower. Sorry, I should say it's a lot slower, but um, it's just as smooth and it gives it a little bit more weight. So there you go, sidestep. Sorry for the very long video, but that's basically how to do it from sketch to posing to animation on ones with tweens and setting everything on twos. Okay. Oh, actually, sorry. One more thing. Let's just slowly start to close. Franco's eyes. And have it slowly start to open. There. And we can go in. Do the same for the eyebrows. Bring it slowly down. Have it slowly come back up. A little bit of overshoot. And settle. All right, so let's have a look again. There we go. It's very subtle. Okay, so that pretty much does it. Thank you for watching this extremely long video, and I hope that this very difficult action will become second nature. And good luck on your uh, barefoot sidestep full body turn. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.